So that... Oh, crap, my... Oh, maybe I had this up the whole time. Oops. Maybe I had that up for the last episode because I put it up to do play over the episode. But hey, everyone, Silvermoon here. Welcome back to another episode of Skylanders Spire's Adventure. And here I've noticed that in the accolades collection... Holy crap! There's... These accolades actually increase your ex the amount of experience that experience is worth. That's interesting. I never knew that. But it explains why Skylanders that I've been playing later and later level up so much more quickly. And we can actually see what legendary treasures are, actually. Oh, we can see what they are, but there's no explanation. Lazy design much! But anyways, in the last episode, we got partway through Dragon's Peak and introduced Sunburn. In this episode, we are going to continue through Dragon's Peak and get much closer to finishing it. Alright, let's do some makeshift star foxing. No, it doesn't. Even though this is my first time playing through it. Uh-oh, air mine coming up! Nice shooting! You were the one doing the shooting, man! Yeah! Ha! Nice try, Batman! Good work, Skylander! Batman won't stand a chance against us! Alright, now to continue on in an air Skylander gate. Oh, a new enemy. Dragonet. Flying pests that shoot fireballs. Oh, three of them. Three of a new enemy. I guess that's fine. Actually, let's see what the one of the one one of the magic items that came with this adventure pack does. I haven't used this magic item before, so I don't know what to expect, but pretty much that's true for all but three of the other magic items. So, here we are. I'm assuming this is a special attack. Of course, Spyro fans since the beginning will notice this. Oh, oh, oh! This is nice! This is very nice! And he shoots for you. That's, that's awesome. That is awesome. I'm going to have to keep that one in mind. And of course, in order to open up this gate, we are going to have to swap to an Air Skylander. And you may notice, again, like I've said, you may notice that my levels are a bit different. That's because I had to play through an entire level again, unfortunately. Let's save this treasure for sunburn. But we go in here and... A teleport whirlwind. Oh, uh, obstacle course. Really? They're getting really creative with the names on this chapter. I mean, really. An obstacle course? Named obstacle course? I never would have thought of that name. I'm guessing this is just, must be where you fall to if you fail. Indeed it is. So let's get this party started. Alright. Run past the spikes. Pick up the bomb. Probably should have waited until I was on that platform to bind. Or maybe this isn't what you bomb? Maybe you bomb... No, the obstacle course... Bomb... Maybe you bomb the obstacle course because it's a test. But that's not what you do with tests. Oh crap! Man! Well, that would have made things a hell of a lot easier! Game! Ah! 
and we get a key. Maybe we need to keep carry the key through here. Ow. Of course, these are fire breathing dragon statues. Good defense for any kind of treasure. I think I may have timed this perfectly. And hiya! And present. I sure hope my a winged hat. It greatly increases speed. But I sorry if I may if I actually left my microphone on my head in the up position for these vids. The the episodes I recorded previous to this. That would really suck if I actually did that to you guys. But hopefully this microphone is pretty good. Hopefully I can edit it so that you'll be able to understand it. Lower the volume of the game audio lower than usual so that you can. Oh! Whoops! Alright. What do you mean all the treasures that I unearthed is gone? Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. There will always be more treasure. No worries. No worries. But yeah, apparently those accolades multiply your experience. I didn't even know about that. Oh, there's a hammer guy! Okay, I do not want to fail on giving this, giving him more experience, so, healing elixir, go! Get out of the way, get out of the way. Let's get rid of this hammer guy. Oh, crap. There we go. And oh, come on, Sunburn is that close to level even with multiplied experience? Come on! What's back here? Nothing, apparently. Alright, at least get some more treasure because Sunburn is going to need it to level up. Let's fly! Let's fly. Way to go! You found the next dragon horn. Well, of course I did. It's kind of an obvious thing. Isn't flying the only way to you know, uh, fly? Yeah. Isn't flying the only way to fly? Psst. Whoa! Okay, odd diagonal angles. I'll take it. I'd wish you good luck, but I know you don't need it. 
You are one tough Skylander. Oh, more of these dragon statues. Earth and dragon Earth cliffs. Strong yeah, coming. they weren't too... Well, might be a good time to show what the final magic item does. Winged boots. Obviously, this probably increases your speed. Yeah, it does grant you great speed. It is really ha handy, I guess. Especially if you're going to speed run. But I think we're out of the... The area of the flame jets, so... Push back to the hidden treasure. A secret treasure chest has appeared. Of course, some is any treasure, so I can upgrade him. Uh, go are these black chompies. Oh, a tilting bounce pad with spikes on one side. That's a fiendish defense. And sunburn levels up. Awesome. Maybe I'm saying awesome too much. But I guess you can never say awesome too much because it's awesome like that. Actually, that looks suspicious. Really suspicious. Like there's something there. A dragon horn? That looks like it's the way to go on. Could be wrong. But there's a treasure chest here. These guys leave behind treasure when you defeat him. But there's a dragon horn over there too. Maybe that one back there is optional. Let's get this treasure chest though. going to to go get that dragon horn right there I doesn't it seems like the way to go on is actually but I will be taking this dragon horn in the next episode so, so until then if you like this part subscribe comment give me a thumbs up and I will see you in the next episode <laughs>